Dear students, today we will discuss about some basic law of the chapter 4 multiplication of algebraic expression exercise 4.1 and this is our first lesson. Let us start the basic law. We have to know this thing before starting the multiplication of algebraic expressions. Uh, uh, if we don't know this thing or if you do not have any basic concept about this law, then the multiplication of algebraic expression will be difficult for us to understand. The first law is commutative law of multiplication. What is commutative law of multiplication? A, a multiplied by B equals to B multiplied by B A. Here A is the multiplicand, B is the multiplier. So what is the meaning of this? If we change the position of multiplier and multiplicand, then the product will be always the same. If we multiply A by B or B by A, then both of them, both of that things, product will be always the same. Let us take a let us take an example here for if we multiply 2 by 3 then 6 if we multiply 3 by 2 that is also 6 so here 2 is multiplicand here 3 is multiplicand here 3 is multiplier but here 2 is multiplier so if we alter the position of multiplicand or multiplier then the product will be always remain the same so this is the basic concept of commutative law that a multiplied by b equals to b multiplied by a so we can write 2 multiplied by 3 equals to 3 multiplied by 2 is the same thing. Then associative law of multiplication. What is the associative law of multiplication? That is a, a multiplied by b multiplied by c equals to a multiplied by b plus c. So for this law we can multiply this part first or we can multiply this part first. Both of for this both of for these things the product will be always the same. We can do this thing first. What will be the product? If we do this thing first, then multiply by a, then the result will be always the same. Let us take an example here. 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. If we multiply this thing first, then we will get 6. Then 6 multiplied by 4 equals to 24. But if we multiply this, this part first, 3 multiplied by 4 equals to 12. Then multiplied by 2 equals to 24. So both of the cases we are getting the same product 24. So we can change the we can change the way of operation. That means we can do this first or we can do this first. But both of the cases the result will be always the same. So this is the main concept of associative law that a cross b multiplied by c equals to a cross b cross c. So we can do this first or we can do this first. Doesn't matter but the product will be always the same. The next one is exponent law of multiplication. We already know this thing from class 6 that is a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n equals a to the power m plus n where m are natural numbers. Here the basic concept is this is the base, a is the base for both of the, these two part. a is base, m is exponent, a is base, n is exponent. Here both of the base are same. So since the base are same we can do this multiplication and after the multiplication the power or the exponent will be added. Base will be always the same. So let us take an example here a square multiplied by a4 here base is always the same a so base of the product will be always a and the power will be added 2 plus 4 so the result will be a to the power 6. There is another type of multiplication law of uh, multipli exponent law of ex uh, multiplication that is a to the power m to the power n equals to a to the power mn that means if we take a power of an exponent then the power will be multiplied like this a to the power cube to the power 2 equals to a to the power 3 into 2 equals to 6 that means if we take a square of uh, a cube then power will be multiplied like this so the result will be a to the power 6 this is the basic concept of exponent law of multiplication now another law is distributive law of multiplication what is the distributive law of multiplication if a b c etc are algebraic expression or variables then multi and their sum is multiplied by a, a constant then this constant will be go with each and every variable or each and every algebraic expression like m a m b m c so m if m happens before the addition of a plus b plus c then this m will be multiplied with each and every part or each and every term of these expressions like m a m b m c so we can take an example here like this 
2 into a b equals to a plus b equals to 2a plus 2b that means these two will go with this a 2 is multiplied by with a and 2 is also multiplied by with b so 2 is will be distributed with between these two things 2 will be distributed with a 2 will be distributed with b so this is the basic concept of distributive law of multiplication next multiplication of expressions with signs we also have to know these things before do the multiplication of algebraic expressions that is if a b are two algebraic expression or two variable then their product will be a b if there is a minus sign before a and multiplied by b then the result will be minus a b if there is a minus sign before the second expression then result will be also minus b that means minus will be come before the product of the expression if both of the expression or both of the variables are negative then their product will be a b that means this minus minus will be plus and these variables or expression will be multiplied like this a b so these are the basics some law of multiplication of algebraic expression if we know this thing very carefully then multiplication law of algebraic expression will be very easier for us so if you try to understand this more clearly uh, if you have any problem write to the comment to the comment box and if you like my lecture please subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you